This video is brought to you by the Product Manager Infantry Combat Equipment, or PDM ICE. PDM ICE is a product management office within Marine Corps Systems Command located in Quantico, Virginia. This video is one in a series of videos PDM ICE has developed in order to instruct, educate, and assist Marines in the proper form, fit, function, use, and care of infantry combat equipment being fielded by this product office. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the proper procedure to perform the TAP test and the torque test on enhanced small arms protective inserts, commonly referred to as ESAPI plates. The TAP test is conducted in order to inspect for delamination and the torque test is conducted in order to inspect for cracks within the plate. Prior to shipping, all ESAPI plates in the inventory are x-rayed in a machine called the Armor Inspection System. This machine will determine if there are any cracks in the plates, however it does not inspect for delamination within a plate. We use the TAP test to inspect for delamination. The TAP test should be conducted by the issuing organization, not the individual Marine, utilizing a certified TAP test tool. Marine Corps Systems Command will provide the TAP tool to each issuing facility. The TAP test is not conducted on the side ESAPI plates. The tap test should be conducted in a relatively quiet area. While you tap in the plate, you're listening for one of two sounds, either a chime or a thud. A chime is considered a good sound, whereas a thud would be considered a bad sound. While tapping the plate, if you hear a thud, that plate should be segregated and not issued due to potential delamination issues. There are two exceptions to this. First, tapping directly in the center of the plate will always result in a thud sound due to the amount of surrounding material, which acts as a dampener, prohibiting a large amount of resonance. Second, if you tap a plate directly on a label, you may hear a thud. However, that does not mean the plate is delaminated because the label also dampens the resonance. So avoid tapping in these two areas. I will now go over the procedure to conduct the tap test. Begin by placing a plate on your fingertips with the strike face facing down. Holding the tap tool with a firm grip approximately two inches above the plate, begin tapping along the outer edges of the plate approximately every two inches, working yourself inward towards the center of the plate. However, do not tap the center portion of the plate. I will now conduct the tap test on three plates. The first plate is a known good plate, so we should hear chimes throughout the plate. Starting out by placing the plate on my fingertips with the strike face facing down, I'm going to place the plate close to my ear and have a firm grasp on the tap tool and I'll begin tapping the plate. You notice I did not tap the center area of the plate. The second plate is a known bad plate so we're going to hear thuds throughout the plate. The third plate is also a known bad plate, however this one's only partially delaminated, so you can hear chimes and thuds throughout the plate. As you heard, there are thuds and chimes, but anytime you hear a thud, you're going to segregate the plate and not reissue it. As previously stated, Tapping on a label and or the center will result in a thud, but that does not mean the plate is delaminated, so avoid tapping in these two areas. To conduct the torque test, first find a quiet place. You're going to start off by grabbing one corner of the plate with one hand and the opposite corner with the other hand, and you're going to torque or twist the plate. If you're listening for any crumbling or cracking or rattling sounds. And you're going to switch hands to the opposite corners. And again, listen for any crumbling, rattling, or crunching sounds. Then you're going to take the plate and place it over your stomach, and you're going to feel the outer edges of the plate. You're going to be sure to go all the way around the plate because the outer edge is the weakest area of the plate. I'm now going to conduct the torque test on a known bad plate. As you can hear, there's rattling and crumbling going on. 
And even when I do the outer edges, I can feel crumbling. That completes the torque test. Again, users should be instructed on how to conduct the torque test and encouraged to perform this test periodically while the ESAPI plates are in their possession. All plates that are deemed unserviceable for failing either the tap test or the torque test should be segregated and disposed of in accordance with the following guidance. This video was developed in order to demonstrate the proper procedures for conducting the tap test and the torque test. For more information regarding these tests or questions regarding any other infantry combat equipment, please contact the program office at pdmice at usmc.mil.